Okay, so share screen again. Back to the software. You can start, stop and pause and do what you like. Now, the other controls that appear when you've got a generator X, which you can see on the left hand and the right hand side here, are these. You can load programs, copy and paste. You can also reset and erase the generator when the generator has stopped. So let's go through each one individually. I've got a program loaded into the generator. The program which is loaded, I can place into the generator by, by clicking on the load button. The programs that you've loaded appear here. You can either just save it directly, in which case the program will be put into the first vacant memory slot, or you can double click on any of these numbers here. And so I'll choose number 12 and toothache, and I'll save that. The program's now in Generator X. That's the simplest way possible to put a program into a generator. Now, let's say we wanted to put a different um, program in there. I want to put a healing program in there. And I want to put in something like, ugh, this is a, um, let's see. Ooh, that sounds terrible, so I'll choose it. I discharge. Oh, gosh. I want to go to the control tab again. I'll load this one in. Okay, why has it still got acne there? So I haven't loaded the program into the generator. So allow generator overwrites. Load it into the generator. The program that gets loaded from this point here is the program contact content, which is in the channel. So now it's got the iDischarge program in there. When you press load, the iDischarge will come up here. Now I'll skip a memory just to show you, and I'll double click down here, iDischarge, and I'll save it. Now, if I now go and disconnect the generator, so it goes in standalone mode, I press generator number one. I'll go down to the memory locations where we loaded the program. We've got the ACME program that we put in. We missed a memory location. And we've got the eye discharge. So that is like really simple, very, very simple. Okay, I'll plug it back in the game and I'll go back to share screen. Okay, now let's put in a long program, a long name. I'll put in the, I'll remove that program. I've entered the Gerstmann Strauchler Scheinke disease. And where's another long one? This is just a random disease, just for another demonstration. I'm still going to keep it in the healing preset. I go to control, allow generator overrides, pick any generator, it doesn't matter. Press load. Oh gosh, I did the worst mistake ever. When you put a generator online again, it's always best to do a, uh, a port refresh. And so Spooky is going to be very unhappy. I'll quit out of Spooky, close the program, and then I'll restart it. The database loads up and then we're away again. Now we may have to repeat the exercise. So let's see if it managed to load it successfully. Yes, it did. So at this point in time, uh, let's have a look. 
it's in sync. So it's not showing the other controls down here because it's in simple mode. I'll go to advanced mode. If I go to control now, you'll see that the advanced options are there. So <laughs> I'm showing you the things what not to, to do. There's the program with the long name. I'll put that into Lucky 13 and I'll save that. Okay. Now you guys remind me to do a scan ports when I restart, but I'm now going to go in offline mode again. I choose generator number one. It can be number two, it doesn't matter. And there's the long name program that we have. But you watch, if the title of the program is too long, it scrolls along so you can read what's there. And it continues. And so you can see even the names of very long programs. Names which are too long to fit on the screen, which is kind of cool. It only scrolls on the program that you select, so it's not very confusing. Okay, put it back online again. Go back to software, and yes, I am going to do a scan ports again. <laughs> so it doesn't look up on me. Okay. So that's the load function.